Federation Navy Comets are difficult opponents for Brawl Slicers. I'll take you through a few steps how to fight them. The most important thing is finding the right range. I find that 7.5 km is perfect for me. In an ideal situation you want to put a web on a comet before it accelerates. If both ships are webbed the speed difference is only 100 meter a second, meaning it will take 50 seconds to cross 5 km. Blaster comets usually need to be within 3 km to do good damage. And this blaster comet's drones are even going after the NPC. As this comet is doing no damage at all, it has plenty of time to reconsider and it warps out. This is always a risk when you're carrying a scrambler, but without one I would have lost the fight. Fortunately for me, a new comet is coming in, so I can uh, try again. Since I was already at speed in his direction, I don't want to use keep at range, so I click in space so as to fly right past him. What my intention is to have him cross my path and then have to turn and tail chase me. That will give me a little bit of distance as he needs to reapproach me again. He briefly comes within 1500 meters, but then I take some distance again. Because he has a micro warp drive fitted, I can't hold him off forever. But as long as I have enough time to put in some good hits, I can destroy him before he destroys me. And of course some fireworks to celebrate. These are tough fights after all. This next fight starts out at the ideal distance for me, about 4 or 5 kilometers, and I can already start moving into space and then when he chases after me I can click keep at range. Unfortunately this pilot was a little bit slower than I had anticipated, so I'm coasting out of range. He is micro warp drive fitted as well, so I can never keep out of his range. So what I'm doing instead is what I call the bounce. I let him fly past me while moving opposite from him. He will fly past me while his signature is large to the micro warp drive, making it easier for me to hit him than for him to hit me. The next pilot is a more skilled PvPer, immediately moving even before I react and move. I managed to catch him and stop his inertia at about 4 km. Since my opponent is flying an afterburner comet, the speed difference between us will be only like 100 meters a second. Meaning the last 3 km he has to close to do full damage will cost him a lot of time. Enough time for me to destroy him. The next fight is also an afterburner comet, but he has some different tactics. As before, I uh, start flying straight down and then switching to keep in range uh, once I hit 5 km distance, just to keep myself in my optimal range. You see him closing a little, but then he suddenly stops closing and even takes some distance again, while his uh, speed drops to near uh, zero. That's because this is a rail comet and he wants to stay at about 6 to 8 kilometers like I do. Unfortunately for him, my damage output at this range is a lot better and he forgot to send his drones after me. Since this seems to be a clear win for me, maybe had his long range ammo loaded, I uh, stop tanking. Uh, I want to keep him interested as long as possible.
in this next fight I see two frigates on scan. So what I immediately do is gain some extra distance because I want the time to at least soften one of them up before I get into brawl range. Even a pulse slicer can do a lot of damage at about 20 kilometers, so I want to use that advantage. All seems to be going well, they're both afterburner fitted, so they're closing only slowly. But then suddenly I see the fire tail increase his speed by a large margin. This means he will catch me and once he webs me, the comet will be on top of me very soon. I need to switch targets and take out the fire tail first. The comet is now also overheating his afterburner and is approaching fast. But I want you to pay careful attention. And you can also see the bounce here, both from the distance, but you can also see it clearly happen in the top left of the screen. If he hadn't bounced back to five kilometers, I would have been very dead. Okay, one last fight just for the visuals. In this case I slide into a plex, immediately fly vertically down with my afterburner overheated and my wrapper on and hit keep it range seven and a half kilometers and I watch him just for the visuals. Amar Victor, thanks for watching. Say goodbye.